Our generations use computers almost daily. You clean your keyboard, you clean your mouse, you clean your computer screen sometimes, but what you don't clean is your mouse pad. In this video I'm going to show you five simple steps to clean your mouse pad with, so stay tuned and watch the video. So before you start cleaning your mouse pad, you should check what your mouse pad is made of. Usually mouse pads are made of um, kind of spongy foam covered with either finely knit fabric, that's what mine has, or a plastic top. If your mouse pad has um, the knit fa fabric, then you should use very gentle uh, cleaning supplies. That means I got myself some um, cleaning towels, you know, it's like for babies actually, but you can just use some, some guest towels, some small towels to clean it, and some normal shampoo that everyone has in the house. If your mouse pad is with a plastic top, then you can use a normal cloth, a sponge, some normal cleaning spray, or um, dish soap. But uh, it's the same uh, cleaning, cleaning process, so I'm going to show you um, the one with the very gentle cleaning with shampoo and the towels. So first we're going to get our washcloth a little bit wet. But of course not super wet, so we're going to push the water out. And then we're going to add a little bit of shampoo on it. And try to mix it a bit together. And then we're going to start cleaning our mouse pad. So now you're going to take your mouse pad and you're going to gently rub the whole surface. It can be nice and foamy. It doesn't matter because we can just rinse it off when we're done. Shampoo is something everyone has in the house. You can also use some um, just like washing soap. It's the same thing but it's, it's gentle to our skin. So it's also gentle to our um, mouse pad fabric. When you have a plastic uh, top, then you can use some chemicals, but you should always be um, very cautious of what you're using. And just keep rubbing the whole mouse pad, front and back. You already see that my cloth is getting dirty. We did not clean that mouse pad, actually never, to be honest, since we have it. And our computer is really used daily. So that's something that definitely needed to get done. Instead of always buying new things, even when it doesn't cost a lot, we can just clean it. So I'm going to turn it around. The back of this mouse pad has a kind of different fabric. It feels like plastic, but I'm not sure. But you can always use shampoo or um, shower gel also on your plastic mouse pad. See how dirty it is. So 
So you can keep going until your mouse pad is completely clean. You can uh, rinse your sponge, your, your washing cloth out in between, put some new soap on it if you uh, really want to deep clean it. And yeah, whenever you're done, I'm going to show you the next step. So now you're going to take your mouse pad that you just cleaned and you're going to just rinse all the soap off of it. Make sure there is no shampoo or whatever you used left on it and it is just perfectly clean. So in the last step you're going to gently use um, another of these washing cloth towel whatever you have and you're gonna um, just gently dry your mouse pad off you can also just open the window and lay it on the windowsill or put it outside in your backyard let the Sun dry it but it should be fully dry before you're going to put it under your mouse again. We don't want no harm to your mouse to happen. Your mouse should never be on something wet. So just make sure your mouse pad is completely dry whenever you're going to use your mouse again. Okay, I think my mouse pet looks way better than it did before. It is clean and ready to be used again. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I hope you know now how to keep your mouse pet clean. And yeah, watch our other videos. We have tons of cleaning videos on our channel. We're going to do um, new videos almost every day, definitely weekly. We do outdoor videos, we do cleaning videos, we do how-tos. And yeah, just check out our other videos. Maybe there's something helpful for you. And like, subscribe, and see you next time.